With 131 days to the election day, none of the 18 million eligible voters is registered yet. Had the initial timelines been followed to the later, registration would have ended on the 2nd of September and the IEBC would have compiled the roll of voters by 2nd of October. By now, voters would be inspecting the register. On the 1st of August, however, the IEBC called off the process of acquiring the biometric voter registration kits that would have been used to register voters electronically ahead of the forthcoming general election. Competing commercial and political interests within the Electoral Commission marred the process of awarding the tender for the supply of the kits to the extent that doubts over IEBC's ability to conduct a free, fair, democratic and credible general election began to emerge. It also became very murky and we felt it is in the national interest and also in the interest of the Commission to terminate this uh, uh, particular uh, exercise. To ensure public confidence in the Commission was not eroded, IEBC resorted to manual voter registration. The Commission said it only needed to update the manual register that was already in place and which contained 12 million voters, a process that would have been less time-consuming. But a week after resorting to the manual registration, the Cabinet issued an advisory to IEBC urging it to take the route it had abandoned for the sake of shielding the country against the mess that a manual voter register portends. During the 6th August Extraordinary Meeting, the Cabinet resolved that voter registration was such a sensitive process that it could not be done manually. The government then undertook to procure the BVR kits through a government-to-government -government deal with the Canadian government. The government will support the IEBC acquire the biometric voter registration system. To date, IEBC is still waiting for the kits. Only 196 out of the 15,000 expected kits have arrived. They are far too few even to be used to train the 30,000 clerks who are expected to register voters. As a commission, we were promised by government that our job was to supply to the government our technical specifications that we supplied and it is for, it's part of the commercial agreement. The rest was government to make sure that it is that's all its, uh, its business, pays everything and we get our kids in time for us to start voter registration. And we had made it very clear that we needed these kids in the country, all of them, by 30th of October to enable us to start voter registration in November. The current situation is now being blamed on government red tape and the back and forth between top officials of two key ministries involved in the procurement process. I had uh, in mind uh, uh, some people who might be responsible for this delay and the culprits I had in mind uh, uh, were Treasury. For me, it only did a call from the chairman to the attorney general. Where is the agreement? And they should have been resolved. Uh, uh, it would have been told that I've just received the, the email agreement. It would have been resolved. It did a call from the Minister for Justice to call me and say, if he suspects his treasury that wanted to, to delay the election, says, uh, Mr. Finance Minister, why are you planning to delay the election? And I've told they have no intention of delaying the election. The Prime Minister is, however, of the opinion that the government is not entirely to blame. Kama wa Samaria Mwema, dania hii mambo. Kama mambo ingeenda vizuri huku ndani ya IBC, sirikali henge ingie kwa mambo haya. Sasa sisi tumeingia the commission na sema saa ya kumina moja. For now, IEBC can only wait for the delivery of the kits it has been waiting for for months in order to get the entire election process rolling, notably within such a constrained time frame. Sylvia Chibet, Citizen Live at Nine.